Robert Bentley resigned as governor yesterday, and the Troy community, alongside political columnist Steve Flowers, seem relieved at the change in power. It's a historic day. You know, you don't have the governor resign every day. Uh, although, in my lifetime, I've seen a couple of them, Guy Hunt and Don Sigelman, be convicted of felonies and removed from office. Uh, uh, you know, this whole thing has been simmering for over a year, maybe two years now, with the relationship with Miss Mason and the sensational stuff coming out. And I'm glad he resigned. I think a lot of people knew he was going to resign, and I, personally, I wish he would have done it over a year ago when all of this came out. You know, he knew he broke the campaign finance laws and uh, misused state funds, and that's what he told the judge yesterday. So he knew all along, but I'm glad he resigned, and now the state can uh, begin to move forward and heal. I believe that it was a long time coming, um, and I still believe it's not really justice. It's him getting off easy. Well, a $300 bond for all of the funds that he misused and stole and all the people that he took from, it's just a slap in the face to them. Now the community is moving on and shifting their focus to Governor Kay Ivey and the transition that will ensue. And uh, Kay Ivey is well qualified to take the job, so it'll be interesting to see how she does and what she does with his cabinet and whether she comes with any new initiatives or not. She just may want to take a caretaker role. She was state treasurer, lieutenant governor, and has uh, presided over the Senate and her job as lieutenant governor. So with the Republican supermajority that Alabama has, I think it'll be a fairly smooth transition. Kyle Shook, Troy, Trojan Vision News.